This is Wadham College, which is one of the 38 colleges at the University of Oxford and is where I currently study as an undergraduate fresher. As you first walk in, it's very fancy and directly to your right is the Porter's Lodge, which is your first, first port of call in college for anything really, like keys and of course post. This is Frank Cord, which is the oldest part of college, as it was built in 1610, and as you walk round Frank Cord, past where I have my tutorials and some pride flags because it's LGBTQ History Month. In the left hand corner of the quad you will find Wendy's room which is the college chaplain and is where we picked up the college dog Jonah to take on a walk around the garden. We're really lucky at Wadham to have these big beautiful gardens because not every college even has gardens at all. And we're also really lucky to host two cool events in the gardens each year, Queer Fest and Woodstock which is a 12 hour music festival. And as you walk back into Front Cord, we are going to walk through Wadham's Chapel, which looks like this and is very pretty. This area here is where we host services every Sunday and also where a choir rehearses. And this area here is called the Anti Chapel, where we host concerts. And walking through here, we come to the Cloisters area, which is really pretty, and is where you will find Wadham's Hall which we couldn't go into at this time of day, but I got footage of it the other night. I've mentioned before that Wadham doesn't have formals, but in practice this means we just doesn't, don't wear fancy clothes to dinner. Dinner's still served in hall and it's very nice in my opinion. Coming out from hall through cloisters, past an area called the Old Library and through these two big doors, we come to an area called Backward which has some accommodation. And that white building over there is the postgraduate center, which I won't be allowed into until fourth year because I am an undergraduate, but I will become a postgraduate when I do my masters in engineering. Coming through here, we come to the underground tunnels of Wadham. And I decided to show you the laundry room, which is incredibly exciting. And coming through the laundry room, we come to the JCR kitchen, which is a nice big kitchen area, which is good for if you want to eat dinner with your pals, because most of the staircases have really small kitchens. And this is just some footage of us randomly exploring. There's a gym down here somewhere, and legend has it that one of these doors leads to hell. Coming out from the tunnels, we walk up these stairs here to the JCR, which is also known as the Junior Common Room. And the Junior Common Room contains a pool table, a coffee machine, um, table football, table tennis, a projector, lots of sofas as people chilling and eating food, probably provided for by college, it's a very nice place. Now coming over here to the left is the library, and the library has this magic opening door which I have demonstrated here. Wow, isn't that exciting? The library is open 24 hours which is very, very necessary if you're an Oxford student because you need to study at all times of the day and night. And over here is the reading area, which has bean bags and lamps, and it's very cozy. And over here are three floors of studiousness and books. Walking out of the library to the left is Bower, which, even though I don't live, is where you're most likely to live as an undergraduate fresher for definite. And Bower has kitchens that look like this, and it has rooms that look like this complete with fridges and desks and sinks. The coolest thing about some of these bowers, bower rooms is they have two floors with the bed at the top, as I will demonstrate over now by climbing up this ladder. And the rooms at the top also open out onto your balconies, which are brilliant for socialising and, <coughs> and healthier activities. These balconies have beautiful views, like this one here, and this balcony here. Coming down from Bower, down these steps is Barquad. And directly in front of you, to come down Barquad, is a new refrack where food is also served. The bar contains a dartboard, gender neutral toilets, and the bar area, of course. Uh, bar quad also contains a theatre, and a bike shed, and there's new refrack again, and there's stairs that lead to the JCR, and over there is the Hollywell Music Room, which is the oldest purpose-built music room in Europe. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it.